Sip comes once again. Okay, today I'm going to show you how to uh, install uh, Secure CRT. It's um, an interface which you can actually uh, link multiple session of your EVNG or your PNET uh, devices environment in just one Windows. Okay, all right. So I'm going to show you real quick this is just a short video all right let's get digging okay now you need to get your uh, secure CRT you can see I have it on my desktop okay so let me go to my browser all right so let me go for google secure crt okay so you can see this is their website so this is the company who produced the crt the secure crt so click there okay so this is their website right so you can get every information you need from them as well all right so and click on download so you can see here i have um, various options so you're going for this secure crt so it's, you can see the other operating system that it supports so let me just click here so now uh, whichever operating system you are using whether windows mac or linux so depending on your flavor of your operating system it depends on what you have to download so let me just go in for this So here you need to fill in what your email address, password, and accept and then submit. Then your download will be given to you. All right, it's not free, but uh, you can try it for free. Okay, it's not free. It's not a free software. You need to buy. Okay. Now let's get to my software. All right. So this is my. Let me double click this. So you can see I have my setup and then my key here, which I need to enter. All right, so you can see here uh, my version is seven. Okay, version seven. Okay, what we saw at the site is nine. Okay, let me bring that back. Let me just go back. Right, so you can see that CRT nine version nine. So mine is seven. So um, I think I need to try and get the newer version all right so let me minimize this so now let me install so you double click yes all right just go for next all right so mine is 32 bits okay you can see i have it for quite some time now so uh, my operating system is 64 that is why it's showing me this uh, particular warning so i'll continue accept the terms and license agreement next so here you accept the default so now complete install that means going to install all the features that is needed for uh, the secure crt if i don't want any of them uh, that i don't want to be installed together so i can go for custom so let me click on custom so next so when you click down this button so you can see you have all that is going to add up serial you can turn it you can ssh and all that so if i don't want ssh to i click there 
and then go for us this feature will not be what's available so when i click this it means we're not going to equal store what's it those added down this one is not going to install it for me but me here i like everything so i'm going to allow that so i'll go back and then go for it. complete so i want everything intact next so it's going to create a program group and the what shortcut on the desktop next then install okay so if you want to view the readme now you can take this to open that for if you want to view history now too you can take that and it to copy for you i'll go for finish so here you can see i have my clt install okay so let me locate that okay this is my icon the desktop so if i double click right now so you can see it's telling me that the license data must be what entered exactly as what downloaded on your registr registration letter so if you receive your registration letter via email you can use the control v to what paste it's just showing you some instructions here right so i'll just go for okay so here i have to what input my key right so i'm going to input my key and then come back to the video okay so okay now since i've entered my key let me open this okay once more nice so you can see here uh, if i like to ssh to a particular what device i can actually enter what the ip address and then the username just like we use uh, in my previous video i used put it to do that on my ev eng or the pnet i use that so we are going to do that with the uh, secure crt as well so let me close this close this and then let me power up my device so this is my pnet i'm going to power up my pnet okay so my pnet is ready to use so you can see service is working normally so i'll just minimize this i'm not going to use this now and then the next thing too i have to um, launch my browser to connect to my pnet right so um, my ip address is one my two the one is eight dot two five seven four 200 if you don't know about this check out on my previous video all right so 34 is add me my password is pin it so i'm going to enter this negative uh, so 3 m login nice so i have some labs here okay you don't know how to create lab i have it in my previous video as well so let me check out a lab good so i've actually created a lab here so open this all right so let's say if i want to view these very devices you can see i have one two three four five six seven eight and i think nine devices and if i want to view them i'll need to use uh, other crt or putty okay now okay with putty you can only open one window okay and then one session you cannot have one window with multiple sessions 
CRT by default, you can have what? One window, one session. So you'll be having a lot of what? Windows copying. But you can as well configure that to use what? Just one window and multiple session. Let's look at that. Okay, it is powered. Let me power this to up. So I'm only going to use two of these devices then uh, we'll look at that so as i said i can connect uh, the secure clt onto my uh, pnet environment okay so let me click that so you can see this is my pnet if i want it like I want to copy files paste in my pnet so I can do that. Let me minimize this, minimize this one as well. So let me open my secure CLT. Nice. So if I want to connect to my pnet, I have to provide the IP here. So my uh, 2.168.72.200 now here the username is roots okay and then i'm going to connect so you can see here uh, there's a ssh key generate for me so i'm going to save it okay because i have to accept and save it. if it's once every time or to actually this dialog box will pop up for me to accept once so let me save it okay now i have to provide my password which is pnet okay so i can save that one as well so that i don't i don't need to be typing password so, okay all right so as you can see this is my pnet uh, environment i can actually let me just go to paste so i can actually copy and paste command from outside and in here okay so now um one thing to allow like doing i don't like my background so if you the type who wants to change your background like i do so you go for options and then go to global options okay and then you click on default session right and then you click on edit default settings nice so you go down to appearance now this is where you can change your um, your font and then your background okay let me go to font first okay nice one i like the style if i want it bold i can go in for bold but i like the regular if i like the public i can click that but i like the regular right so i like the put it at the 18 all right then if i want to change the fonts so i can change this one as well but like this is how i like doing my settings so it depends on which number you want you can select right so i go for okay now the next thing is my background and then my text so i click you come here and then go for font oh sorry uh, my background text you go for the current color scheme yeah current color scheme so click this now this is my background and then this is for the text so if let me change my text no first let me change my background so that i'm going to affect my text so my background i like this color okay so can go for okay right this is my background so my text i like it to be white i'll go for okay so now let me go for okay so now you can see this give me what the preview how i, I want my uh, background and then my text to be like then i'll go for okay so i have to accept for all session right okay still my font has not changed so let me go back in there and check right um, for 
edit oh sorry uh, why did anything change okay so let me close this and then reopen and then we'll see so let me close this yeah so let me reopen my CRT once more let me just click on it and then connect all right so this is what i'm talking about so when you are done with your settings you need to close everything and reopen then you have it attached now this is how i want my items my text are bigger my background is good right now let me jump to my lab environment on my pnet okay here we are so i have two devices here which i would like to use the secure crt for so when i click here and then now because i have uh done this previously so you have you can see it in the list so those of you who don't who will not see the secure crt in your list maybe you only see what you're putting in the list okay then other for both of them if you want to have them like this okay any software you want to use to view your devices interface right if you don't see them in the list you can go for it uh, choose okay this i'm going to do for crt so so you can see i've been here before so it's showing so let me go by the default so see now my crt secure crt is a 32 bit so to be in program file x x86 s86 means what 32 bits this is for 64 bit programs okay when you install them this is where they go to 32 bit program this is where they come to so let me double click this and then go down to yeah this is the company open open and then you can see i have what secure crt when i highlight that and i go for okay so i'll see it in my list then anytime at all i can select it and then open it's the same thing if you want for put it to be in your list so you can go in but if you always want to open with this you can select this always use this application to open telnet link for my devices so i can select that for it to be open obviously a crt me i'll be using so i'll select this for all my devices and then go for open link now look at this i have switch here right you can see i have switch so let me check good so you can see now i have two windows open okay separate uh, windows open for me so if i should try opening this one too so you can see it has opened this automatically with the crt because i said you should always use it a crt to open this one to open another window but i want them to come like a tab so i can have just one window and then have all of them in one session so i can have sorry i can have one window and have what multiple session of what the devices okay let's see how we can do that so let me close this so we need to close all that you've opened okay I have to close this yeah i know i mean i can close this as well all right so what i'll do here is let me minimize my lab what i'm going to do here is i'll go to my explorer so click all right so i'll go to the drive c then i'll go to users you have to look for a particular uh, folder right uh, the username okay that you use to log in okay to create a folder for you so you open that so that's my username got up right so i'm looking for a particular folder it's not here we have some folders they are hidden okay this is microsoft for you so you go to view and then show and then i have what hidden items 
if you are using windows 10 when you click on view you will see that tab to select what show hidden items so you will see them so when you click here show you can see i want hidden items so when you have when you select that this is the folder i'm looking for app data so double click then you go for to roam here you have what the software that creates some of the what folders in here right you can see i have a lot of softwares in which has created their path here so this is the company double click configuration okay so the file you should look for is global right so when you right click the file you should look for is global so when you right click you go for edit now this is this have a whole lot of files in here so i should look for a particular uh, row okay so it's not row i should look for a particular line right that's uh, state single so to look for that i'll go to file and then okay sorry go to edit rather so you go to find so you see i've actually typed that before so you type here single and then hit on the what search button so it's going to look for that particular uh, line for you this is it single instance right so you only change the only first beginning you see all are zero so you only change delay the first zero and change it to one so that to create just one instance for you so you close and then you save right and then you can go back and then you can turn off your hidden um, item so view down to show and then i have to turn this off so now you see it's gone so i can close this now let me bring let me double click this once more my secure clt okay once more let us connect okay uh, connected right so let, where is my lab good so since i have my lab let me click once more on this so now look at this you see now i have one window and i'm having my sessions with them so my switch is here so let me click on my other device as well right let me minimize this click you can see now i have what multiple sessions in just what one window so i can just be moving my my mouse oh no i can just be moving my mouse but across uh, the tab here then i can have access to my devices so you can see all right so this is how you can create what just one window and they have what multiple session with what other devices that you want to uh, use for your practice and your configuration so like the video subscribe okay to the channel right leave your comment down there i'll be coming more with more videos right see you guys